I'm so excited to be in your various lives today. I'm so, so grateful. I want us to hear something today. Every one of us, we are emotional beings. As a matter of fact, animals too have emotions. That's why the dog will bark. The ram will maw. Meh. Animals react cock crows. We crow, we maw, we cry, we bark in the place of our emotions. Bogbowa. And when it comes to emotions, and many of us, we don't really, really give attention to our emotions. We don't even know that, ah, she can eat do me, Lara, she do me, Lara, kupo, she mo mo, Lara, kupo, she, oh, ba, mi ni nu je gidi gidi, abi o ba, mi ni nu je kupo, kupo. That is how a lot of us are permanently sitting in an abusive relationship, in a relationship that is toxic, and we are not able to identify it. We are not able to put our fingers there. We find it difficult to say, ah, nkoton shemi lele. That is why I teach women, especially awobeni, toribi awobeni sheri, adabi no ni, adabi spaghetti ni, Aye wari wolo wolo, obeni, oko, omo, ishe, ibinu, awon koto somo aye obeni kpo. Sheri okuni wole ronu ni oto oto. Shukma bi obeni she ronu, a ronu bi waya ni, a ronu bi keke, bi taya keke, ba she ronu ni ye, oje ko shoro she, fu obeni, la ti male, mon koton she, tori kwe kini gbogbo e tiri wolo 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 wolo. Now, if you are not careful as a woman, te ba notice that I won't be ni kpo la ro. Ju a won kouni lo. To ri kpe kini, won ma gbe sokan, won ma gbe sinu, o ma di kansa, o ma di olsa, o ma di e kwa asun da. Because, ki lo she le si won o, o, i mon koto she le si won, won mon la ra, on du won de e gougoun, on du won de okan. E to ri e le she mari e lo mi, a ma koran ni bi a jaw ni kokoro. Eh, emotions ni imolara nkan te yan se to mo yan la to kan yan gogo to dun yan lo kan to ba yan ninu je die to ba won ba yan ninu je pupo nkan ton pe ni emotions ni yen nkan ton sele si yan ti eyan mo lara now listen to me and listen to me this moment the moment as a person you cannot ask yourself ki lo se missing tinu mi baje ki lo se missing tori mi tori mi tori for me ki lo se missing ti mo fe ma sunkun asun da ki lo se missing ti mo kan ti mo kan wo pe mi de ni darije ni e mi de ni soro simo laye laye ijaye o le pari ki lo de ti o ba ti le fi voice si emotions e ko ni ohun pe ah o ya soro ba mi soro ki lo fa aro kan ti ma sun da wa okay any yes or buy, O tin she mi lera lera, mi soro, e mo da ke, mo un wo, mo un da sara, ah, wala de, that is where, we are talking about, emotions, emotions means, in kote yon mo lara, in koto she le si yon, te yon mo lara, ti e yo ba de, mo, ti o ba she, ti o ba wa di e da da, o di wala, O lo she ma jek pe e kon re lo mi. Lo jiji. A de kurun le okoy. A lo mo she mo lo kot. A a. O kwa ma kwe ki la gwe ki la ju. A wan kon to kwe e she si o mo lara. The relationship is emotionally destructive. A wan e duon konye. O un duon lo kon. O un ba ni nou je. Lo kpo lo kpo. Ni di e di e nto ri kwe ki ni. Ko le so pe in kon bay. Lo je kon de de yari lo jiji. I just can't find an example. Come, most of them are just animal. One emotions. Taba fe pa yano. I'm I'm only taba fe pa malu. Eriko ma yari. O ma konyongo. O ma shio ma mo. They know. Even in the animal kingdom, they have feelings. They have emotions. Only ba kato yake ani aja to pole. We have a lot of dogs in the house. And we wanted to dispose them because they were getting too many, you know, that kind of thing. And we we're having visitors. My mother was ill about, at that time. And, you know, we'll be having a lot of visitors. So 
I just decide one afternoon and my sister's children were coming to the house. I just decided that we're going to give out those dogs and sold them out that day. So the person I was going to buy them came. We have about 16. Unfortunately, so some of them just had their babies. So we just decided to say, everybody, I want at Yati Baba, all of them go. We now left two puppies. Toshi Monyo Lowo. We now said we're going to give them milk. So we chose to take care of them because your emotional life Nkoto Molara is tangible, is touchable, is visible. Guess what? We now sold them out. About six months later, you know, my mother died. My sister's children had to come to the house. They had to come to the house. When they came to the house, if you hear the barkings of those puppies, I was scared. Bo, 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 bo. They were crying. I said, what? Because my sister's children were the set of people that use stick to, to push those mothers and the father and all the dogs in the compound to the buyer. Hey! I said, yeah. Meaning that an ordinary animal can be traumatized emotionally. Those puppies were so traumatized. A year after, my sister's children still came to the compound. The same experience. Bo -oh, bo -oh, bo -bo -bo -bo. Ah, ah. There is no time they come to that house. As long as those two puppies that remained were in that compound, they will come and be barking at them. I have a witness as I'm talking to you. My name is Olufunke Adetuberu. This is She Matters on Fresh FM 105.9. Ibado. Enyara Abadu, I celebrate you so dearly. Thank you for always listening. Today is going to be powerful. I welcome you to She Matters with Olufunke. On behalf of Dr. Yinkaju Elayefele, the CEO of Fresh FM Nigeria, a man that is passionate about doing things right, a visionary leader, Fresh FM everywhere, as many as we can have, Dr. Inkajo Efele, well done. More grace, more grace to your elbow. Thank you for making a difference in the world of radio in Nigeria. Fresh FM, Niba Bango. They cannot, you cannot rule us out. We are standing and we are outstanding. On behalf of the leader, I welcome you to She Matters. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be explosive. I'm sure you know the way I started today's episode. You know that we are in for a blast. And please do me a favor. If you are not alone, wherever you are, please tell somebody close to you. If you are not alone, if you are with somebody, tell the person, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go fresh FM. Listen, listen. It's a program. It's all important. Run it everywhere. Publish it everywhere. Tell everyone that has ears. Because we are all emotional beings. We are human beings. People forget that whatever you see a man display out there is an act of emotional wounds. It's an act of emotions. Anger is emotion. Going into drugs is emotions. Humanizing is emotions. Stealing is emotion. Gambling is emotions. Hey... Prostitution is emotions. You have to be emotional to get into those things. I want to cut on shelly. Ta mo lara ono manti wasi. I want to cut ta omo. Iko lonti wasi. So please tell your neighbors, tell your friend. Ete teke won lori ago ba ekwe. Oh yeah yeah, switching the fresh FM. But program ye, it will do you good. It will do that person's good. He will change that person's perspective. relationship If you are in any relationship that is emotionally destructive, whether marriage, friendship, we are going to look at it one after the other. Who am I relating with that is making me to be feeling pain? Feeling miserable, feeling uncomfortable. Tani mumba she, talomba mi shere, oremi lokuni lobeni iya baba omosi ya baba somo okosi ya wo ya wosi oko ore sorry tani omba mi she ajoshe po be siwan. Ti mo mo nko ton shefumi ti o dalara. 
disrupting, messing up my emotions. I will find out today. Hear me. I want you to be answering these questions. Boya ke mu pe pati biro. Tori pe awon bere ti mo fe ma bere yi pura ra yin le ma dan wo. Now, nkan to man se awon eyan to fi man joko si abusive relationship mama so in book pupo de ensin tori akoko. The reason why a lot of people sit in an unhealthy, emotionally destructive relationship is because of denial. When somebody steps on your head, they behave anyhow. You insult them. You cover them up. They insult you. Take it that way. You cover them up. Because we do a lot of rationalization for people. A away your knee. Kini yoruba eh alabai kini eh aman aman try lati ah mo wa yoruba eh mi ori aman try lati ba ni eh wo bo she le bo she le idi to fi se nkan to se excuse let me put it that way ama wo pe idi to fi se nkan to se mo so fun last week mo ni eyan ko so pe eh oyinbo ni mo so pe yoruba mi o se all this information nigerians africa we never never write it down the people that God has helped to make us understand the dynamics of our relationship, they are white people. And most of this information, I consume them in English. So, if I'm trying to interpret and try to break it down for us to understand, I appreciate but e ko yi yoruba wo lo nko wa nbo le ti gba won kan ti mo nso yi ti yoruba ma pe joko ma soro pe e o mo lara e ibanu je tinu tinu ibanu je pupo pupo won a so ni won o ni salaye bi oyin bo se ma so to ma salaye so please do me a favor get somebody to interpret get somebody to help you to to list to to explain it to you to ba le juma eyin grandma eyin grandpa eyin eyin eyan mi te ma fe gbo mi ni yoruba to ba ti leju e record de so ri phone yin e tu sare record ke wa so fun yan ko salaye fun yin emi o blame anybody pe ko gbo yin bo english is not my father's language is a borrowed language here so it is not something anybody can be boastful of we are privileged to be informed we are privileged to know we are privileged to understand so please allow me to say this listen and listen very carefully in the moment you are in a destructive emotional relationship or your relationship is destructive number one thing is you have to accept don't be in denial don't give excuse don't give an alibi don't try to tell the person ah, oh my god i was talking to one woman this week her husband beat her broke her head and guess what the picture is on my phone no? He eh, is a nice man. Muni is not a nice man, but you are not supposed to allow him to hurt you this far. You see, oh, Timba, Timba Sokwe is a nice man. I'm not saying not a good man. Don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is that the relationship is abusive, and the person that is being abused should take responsibility and say, Oh, ha, oh, hurt me. Ma Sokwe ko mean ham. Tio ba mean ham ko ni hurt eh. Tio ba mean ham ko ni fo eh ni kolori. It didn't mean harm in the light of meaning harm. But action, yeah, mean harm. You, I hope you understand what I'm saying. And when such action comes in, you don't treat it trivially. You don't handle it. One of those things could mean it, the day the beating becomes taken off your life, then you will understand that there is something to eat than the normal thing you are thinking. Hmm. Listen to me today and listen very carefully. You have to answer these questions. I'm going to be asking you a lot of questions. Mama Bede, I want Bede Kokulowawa. And you have to face it. Hear me. It's so difficult to face the things that you are covering. You, know, you remember my, my nickname? Trace it. Face it. Erase it and start replace, replacing it. If you can't trace it, you can't face it. If you cannot face it, you cannot erase it. If you cannot erase it, you cannot replace it. You have to tell yourself. I will know. I'm a cover up. I'm a But this time around, you are telling yourself, I'm a more. for tiny honey, You want to know what is wrong with you. The moment you know what is wrong with you, you know what is going on. Dear Loku. Dear Loku. If you know what is going on, you have insight. 
that's the end of the problem because you will know ah chai because and when you can fair more cotton she won't call him a bad call him a dear silas they will not want to do anything about it when they are going through stuff because they are just asking themselves ah well, I would rather not know because if I know, I have to do something about it. Yes, if you know, you have to do something about it. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to know because if I know, I will fix it and change something. Yes, that is the essence of relationship. That is the essence of life. Change. If you are not willing to look at your relationship truthfully, ah, hey, <laughs> you are going on a suicide mission. So we have to know. You know what is wrong. You face what is wrong. You learn from what you have done that is wrong. And you change. And you pick your piece and pieces together. You look into your life. And let me say something. There is nothing under the sun. God knows you. He sees you. He knows what you are going through. She and it see over my way, you know. Nick that thing She your man feel away, but more funny. No, the person that will buff you when you are dead, you will not cover your nakedness from that person. So it is better to know and arrange on how to work on it and change your ways. Then we can start a new life. I know somebody is hearing me now. By the time we are done, see me back, Paris Eleni. How do I know that I'm in a destructive emotional relationship? How do I know that anything on bashi, anything bami sorrow? Me is so quiet. Yawoni kong, you better open your heart. Toba je marriage it ye, fix it. Toba je baba in it ye, fix it. Toba je mama in it ye, fix it. Toba je oko in it ye. Fix it. Toba Jaya Woe Nitia, fix it. What I'm saying is, these questions I want to be asking you is not just for husband and wife. Because, hello, me, my Daniel Kwatia won't know. As a matter of fact, many people that enter the destructive relationship, emotional destructive relationship in their marriages, have endured it with their parents, have done through it with their friends, they have done it with their siblings. They are, they are pairs. Mommy, I mean, Egbo Aburo, trip, um, family, si, uh, family rivalry, problem, uh, favoritism in the family. And when you're to buy one wrong marriage, having going through an emotional destructive person in their lives, they are taking it when they were young. And that is why these questions is so important. There is nobody in this world that find herself or himself in a toxic relationship, in an abusive relationship that had not experienced it from one person outside the marriage. And that's why, please don't zero your mind to your husband and wife. Stop looking, oh, hey, how come you Yeah, we not so, eh, mon so, should not be colored in better. And you know me, you must trace it to face it. So you know that for the fact that your husband or your wife could get away with some of these abuses, destructive emotional relationship, you must have follow come from your background, from your parenting, from your upbringing, from your siblings. They don't relate as families. They are from the same womb, but they don't relate as one. They have become <laughs> enemies in their homes, in their relationships. So the first question is this. Don't don't use your husband. Don't use your wife. Use any relationship around you. Ah, eh, my mate, fe magbo mini yoru by jen sare so by sharing. Kati mo fe kama down yi ki she igbe ya woni kan sharei ki atori eni to logbe ya wo muti interpret by you. Oh yeah, ki yoko pate wo for me. You know, katori eni ti o lo sinu igbe ya wo ti yen wan fi ibinu ton fi koni lara. Don't don't want to molare poor emotionally. Oh, I drained. Oh, she shall lay. La, you any yat, yeah, at the bear, at a way, be at a rat, a rale, a more coy, ma buro, ma mau co, ma ma buro, a buro, ma buro, ya wa buro, oh, she shall lay around. A yoking de de bossy emotionally destructive relationship. I won't cock on to my shelly. 
Now, a koko. Question number one. Question number one. Does the person use physical force or threats? To mashiba, mashiba, mashi explain. Or force to make you do something you don't want to do. Hey, ejekin bere lati and one more kkk from our children. I mean, our first parents. You use physical force. Igbati, igbamu, unleshe, or threats. I'll kill you. I'll do this. I'll do that. Or force you to make you do something you don't want to do. That is emotionally destructive relationship. Again, well, let me break it down. Now, hey, any come be me quick. Okay, but while she fed to one more. Or what we want them to do. Let me explain this to you. Sherry. Force. Threat. Beating. Pressure. Does not change people. It can make them to change. Let me put it this way. Nkometale yomafin yin yonkwada. Akoko ija. Force. Threat. Akpamawa. Ikeji. Orotutu. Or to two, Ibeni Mama flog. When you talk to the reasoning of that person, the person will reason. Iketa adura man pe 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 pe. I'll be praying. Well, I pray, but prayer without works is dead. Let me now come ba back to our children. There are kids. Oh, you can't more and one more what that. There are some children. If you want them to do something, don't use force because their personality does not use force. They have to reason. They have to be persuaded. They have to think. You have to make them to see reasons why they will change. I'll kill you. I'll do this. Why do you want to mama fiery? Whatever. Eh? Ah. If you are in that kind of relationship, just know that it's emotionally destructive. You know, force and threat. Let's say force. Let's use force, for instance. Your child is not giving you what you want in school. Some parents are guilty now. Why? Threat, force. To do something that the child does not want to do. Now, let me tell you something. How do you know? Have you ever sat down to ask, why is this child not wanting to do this? Is it that the child is wicked? Or the child wants to be stubborn. And you tell raise or more. Shed be shen raise and one more to mu drugs ni moon sofu in you. Be shen raise and one more tea. One lunch or low show. Ton she ya wo plus. Ton she ton she scam ni moon so you. Because everything is false. Everything is threat. Why can't you find out? Why is my son? Why is my daughter reluctant to do this? She o mo mo fe stubborn. Let me say this. There's no child that wants to be stubborn. Sometimes it's mistakes. Sometimes it's not having home training. Let me say this. Sherry, ti omo bati kuro ni omo du maru mefa. Te bati ko wala ni fento bang bodwe. That is the truth. When you have not taught a child to learn to take responsibility, to learn to be intentional, to learn to give attention to details. Ha! E jagwi gbesho roka. That is why a lot of people, when they are married or they have their friends, they will not be wondering. She ah, boy no kule change. She oh she she in your lay bend they just don't tick bend, don't tick your don't tick bend. It's going to be difficult. So try to bring threat and force to a fish that cannot be bent or is dry is difficult. Is a problem, and that's why I tell parents, train your child the way it should go. When he's old, he will not depart from it. Start molding, making, communicating in love, in affection now, your children. Instead of emotionally destroying them by putting force, you will do it by force. What would we change? Nothing. Hear me and hear me clearly. Raising children, Motiso. Let's now talk about husband and wife. <laughs> Threat and force. I've seen men that will tell me, if you don't let me sleep with you by force, I will go out. 
the woman too will now come down. That's that's emotionally destructive relationship. So if that person is putting physical force or call force, hey, any cut to be me request or shock rape, we are aware, yes. Sexual relationship must be consensual. There must be an agreement. When you have used physical force or threats to make your wife have sex with you, you yourself, you not enjoy the sex. Because sex for a woman is like drawing water from the well. Wow, A man is sexually comfortable at the sight of anything. But that is not how a woman is wired. My question is plenty. Your mama bere bere yebo yo se me fa ni ma fi bere ma fi bere. I'm still going to over how many questions I put here. Twenty four questions. E yo koni mo de shiwa lori e ye timba le shile ni ni to ba tita si ko a round off. But one thing is sure, you must start saying yes all the time, always, sometimes, almost always. You have to mark it. Does the person now? It's not your husband, your wife. Your friend, your mother, your father, your neighbor, your cousins, your nieces, people you are living with. Maybe somebody, your parents are dead and you don't have a choice. Find out. One more. Where you understand, I've told you the foundation of these things that we want to now use force and threat to change. I changed my method. I'm talking to you from experience. I just discovered that shouting, hitting, slapping does not change anything. Or a local talk. Most of them are going to commit and nothing changing you. Or in your lonely walk, Ija, Akpamawa, Adura Makpe, Olo Makbo, Bo Makpe. But why can't you take the shortest route to your relationship? People shen so, I won't cut their own shell. Ti and in your tone abuse in emotionally destroying someone. Ton she no ni mon so solution. So konida bikpe mo kon bere bere life wa ni ansa. And that is why this program is highly educative. Now, listen. If it's your mother or your father, that is becoming physical, especially fathers. And your kuni. And no, last Sunday, ni special edition. I appreciate all your comments. I'm grateful. Listen to me. Today is not for men, it's for general people. But hear me very well. If you have boys, you have sons, and you keep using force, force does not change any man, any woman. Recently, one grandma or mother sent me a text. She has all boys. <laughs> and she wants to be forcing them. You don't force adults. You need wisdom. You need counseling. They will assume that you are controlling. And you know what you are doing to your boys? They will never listen to their wives because their mother does not know the wisdom to talk to them. I'm privileged to have all boys. I know how to talk to them. Sometimes I blow hot. But when I'm blowing cold, I blow it in a way they will understand. Even when I'm blowing hot, they will say, mm, you have tried. It's not that you want to control them, especially when they are adults. You are physically now forcing or threatening. It's not a right way. You are emotionally destroying the person you are relating with. And at the end of the day, you will just find yourself to be blamed. What are you going to do? You are going to use soft words. Words. Soft words. Soft words can also turn away wrath. You use sandwich. That's why relationship has to be done intentionally. Even when you are upset, when you are angry. Tajabasha and Simio Mam Mujuno. Teo Bambi nu tio bati shoro don so soro soro. Lati ma shora lodo shoro shoro. Elo mi e mokwe. Teba soro bai. O makpa da lo ro 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 ro. I want shoro shoro ni ye. So if you want, if you are in a relationship that the person used to force you or threaten you. To make you do something you don't want to do against your will. It could be anything. Wow. My name is Olufunke Adetuberu. Follow me on Instagram. My handle is Funke Adetuberu. If you miss any of the She Matters episode, you can listen on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Funke Adetuberu. 
like and subscribe and if you know that you are getting tired of this relationship thing you want help you need counseling you need therapy you can send me a text on 080 232 42389 you will find yourself in the hand of a positive professionals that will help you to navigate your life and get the best out of life life is too short to become an emotional wreck an emotional roller coaster emotionally like you know acting like a pendulum today you are hot tomorrow you are cold tomorrow you are sad next tomorrow you are unhappy in your relationship today you want to pack out tomorrow you want to pack in you are feeling the torture you are feeling the you need help i have to be speaking yoruba and english but if you can't understand yoruba i've actually everything i'm saying in english i'm interpreting so that gave you a leverage to just listen and enjoy the word the number to voice note to text to whatsapp for your questions for your worries about your relationship with yourself with your mom with your dad with your husband with your wife with your neighbor even your staff at work your colleague 080 232 42389 please don't call that number we don't call the number you know a lot of people don't know why i said don't call just text if 200 people you just want your deck with me for me they go no they go more than one will buy me but every one of you know that if you send me a text i will reply you if you send me a voice note i will listen i want to continue to share mistake let's see my listen see me i want to listen see to more listen see lower to call me to our wallet to my work or job so if you're in that category please i apologize you can resend it to me and don't take offense. Number one, you are not paying me to answer your calls and to reply your text messages. You don't buy me credit. So it's still my money, my data I'm using. So getting offended, taking offense is an act of having a sense of entitlement. Life is a privilege. Nobody is entitled to anything. Sorry, we are not entitled to it. We are privileged to be able to breathe in through our nose, to be able to talk, to be able to stand up and move. It's a great, great privilege. So please don't take offense. Text me, voice note me, WhatsApp me on 080-232-4238. I will definitely get back to you. Please, please, I celebrate every one of you. I love you so much and I cannot do without you. That's the truth and it's a privilege. Sincerely, I appreciate it. How do you know that you are in a relationship or you are in an emotionally destructive relationship? I've said one. The second one, most of them are treated alone. Because a lot of people don't know. What if I'm more? Call it, call continue. I be I'm on by me, man, Jack Kiare, your ballet. Oh, Le Farabale, Sinuro. Dinner sometimes makes you feel a little bit better, but it's a time bomb. Cosinka, 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 Essendu, Cosinka, Orifo, Cosinka, O by Logileni, Ecosinka, Cosinka, O for a lecher, Lori, Cosinka, Cosinka, O Le Nigbo, eh, Ocori call Leia, where Nigbo, lo say. You need to know that you are just you are just living on a borrowed time. Toba mafi bossig bangba at the affect health, at the affect wealth, at the affect happiness, and one more no at the affect one. And that is it. Yes, number two. Does the person use verbal weapon such as cursing? Sherry, I won't come at Ekwe. Egun, Ekwe. What a now won't look on what way Ekwe walk in Shakwe. She any tea, a young Shakwe for Shako walk on Shakwe for. Name calling, degrading comments, constant criticism, or blaming to get you to do something you don't want to do. Ejaka, Ejaka for Pale. 
something you don't want to do now don't get me wrong there are things you should do a gem balance a lay because some people say i don't want to do this they are forcing me they are causing me egg bomb me manipulation is what they are you had seen there listen there are normal things a child should do there is a duty that a child should do there are things a woman should do there are things a man should do your normal duty is different from what you don't want to do do you understand now let me give you an example a woman must provide food for the family talk about if it it is your duty to cook and make food available for your family as a child you are supposed to do house chores sweep clean take care of something do your chores be responsible in the house it's different from what i'm saying no because what iran or consent not seeing you pack ah hey she matters for care day to be a does the person use baba weapon such as cursing name calling degrading uh, comments constant criticism or blaming to get to do to do something you don't want to do or to keep you from doing something you want to do i want you come on so if you are supposed to do something and you have done it which is the normal thing you should do now this person is now emotionally destructive to you by cursing you cursing baba curse ekpe weapons egba baba weapon egba ngba mi igi ngba mi igba ti ngba mi cursing ma se pe fun you know that those things does not change anybody. I've related with people. I've worked with people. It doesn't change anybody. Name calling. Ah, me le masolori afefe kuwa edify fine kote e build. Esha mo boru ko. Amo kini kani e. Ori e she kini kan. Kini kan kini kan kini kan kini kan kini kan kini kan. E fix e. You know mo be she man so. Me oni ba mo so kote o ye kini so. Name calling, degrading call. Hey, you want that guy? Oh, de. Oh, Lord, do. Chai, please. That is emotionally destructive comment. It's a relationship that is toxic. Just know. Name calling, belittling, degrading comment. Constant criticism. A woman came to me. She cried like a baby. She wept her heart to stupor. Why? Timba The husband does not respect her at all. The man will just say something. Oh, lori. Oh, lock my law. The dirinye. She was she Oh, daddy. Eh, wa okay. Ko wa okay, Rara. You are emotionally destroying another person that is you. Criticizing. Wa blame me. You all offer. You never take responsibility. You keep blaming the person. If it's your fault. Yo, but she won me. Mo mo lag beggar friend ye. Mo la si mi kantori po bo she she ni yo. You are emotionally destroying that relationship, and you are very destructive. Kanto de she she be ni pe to ba halemo to bu to criticize. As in it might not work. Most of the time in marriage, to bati shebe eh kujuko rojolo, kujuko shekwe lo. Adema we. Eh ma wa mota ambila yes. They do that a lot. Kama tu eh to bag boton wa dake. Is that how you want to raise your children? You are raising emotional wrecks. You are raising rebels. You are raising Bad children. Muntu ato kwa ati ya wu. Muntu soti. Omo. Ati. Obi. You are destroying them emotionally. And when you do that. You are killing their self worth. So if you are in a relationship. That the person. Use verbal weapon. Such as cursing. Name calling. Disgrading comments. Constant criticism. Or blaming. To get you to do something you don't want to do, it is emotionally destructive, and you need to understand. Oh, Molara, 
ko se ni ti won se pe fun ti o ni mo lara ko se ni ti kon pe loruko ti o je ti o ni mo lara ko se ni ti won so oro disi tabi ton so pe o se dada o mo se o se dada mo ti so fun gbogbo eyin te gbo yoruba pe ato yin ba ti yoruba mo 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 ripi mo interpret mo se nsoro ni because i don't want anybody to miss out of this powerful information i don't want you to miss out on this powerful information mi fe ki mo to lagbara yi ko fo wa yo abi ko fo wa ru itori e ni mo se nso yoruba ti mo tin so oyinbo mo n gbe fo mo se nso ro yin when you have a friend that criticizes you ki lo wa wo e ko fit e ki lo ro pe wo o fe da o fe ko join click ni he's trying to humiliate you to subject you to subjugate you with verbal weapons as cursing name calling o ga na man se fo mo se o o mo se na man se fa won to wa la be you are toxic you are destructive you are messing up somebody's life and you are making them to be weak and not productive listen verbal weapon such as cursing name calling degrading comments constant criticism blaming to get the person to do something you don't want that the person does not want to do and keep the person from doing something the person wants to do you know what you are doing is counterproductive the person will do it you remember one story let me share it with you um the boy was making noise in the class hey yeah, yeah, yeah. make noise teacher there make ba pow pow ogba o de joko you know what the boy said I'm sitting down but my mind is standing and I'm standing up. <laughs> Teacher Ebu said that is the danger for using a verbal weapon such as cursing, name calling, degrading, comments, constant criticism or blaming to get the person to do something you don't want the person to do or the person does not want to do it but because of those acts the person is doing it is for a while a one will be Sheri ti ba wo awon arugbo ngba mi mo ma nsun kun agaga awon arugbo ti awon mo won o toju mo ma wo dada let me be honest with you tell you ba bi mo gan tell you ba bi mo if you are good you have empathy you have sympathy you are nice you are clean you are decent in what you are doing your old age will not be bad hear me now everybody hear me now 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 especially eyin 13 dagba lo if you are not careful with this abusive emotionally abusive nature that you put on or you are wearing ah e ko e wojo gbo yin o awon obi mi ngbo mi nsin won le fowo so ya pe iya oni je won lojo gbo pe won ro mo duro ti won won le fowo so ya because of how they have been emotionally verbally name calling degrading constant criticism blaming their children for their own mistakes hey jesus nkan ti mo se he fun yen ma so like pe tolorun ba fun mi lai le ni lati so ti aye o si ko ba si ma continue len si mo so pe over opo almost 30 30 questions oju 30 lo ti mo ko yi ah 31 31 questions ni mo ma Baby, if you can answer them, you are in a an emotionally destructive relationship, and it is counterproductive. I've said it. You won't thrive. You will not be able to work on yourself. You will not have self worth, self esteem. Awakere ah, agentsole mo so high yema tutu so, especially men that disgrace their wives pull their wives down insult their wives make their wives look like slave in the house ha eje ka mo yen eje ki ekuda ko dowo won they will abandon you oh my children my children anything that has to do with an emotional abuse children don't value it all. they are valuing you now because you are paying school fees they are valuing you now because you are you are they are under your under your tutelage oh I was telling a family, I said, the day your child goes to the university, that is exit. Exit. 
what's in law? University, what's in law? So if your child is leaving and say, Laye, number one, me, they marry. If this is marriage, I don't want to be married. Ha! I'm not going to get married though. Or your son is saying, ah, I will not treat my wife the way my daddy treated my mom. Would he fail? Would he fail? Daddy, would he fail? Start working, taking it back. Do a family meeting. And men, they with their ego and their pride, they will not want to do a family meeting. Ki work with family. Ki maso kweke ma binu. Ki maso sorry. You will not. You will not. You will not. <laughs> well, if you don't learn to say sorry, one day they will be sorry for you. And listen, listen to me. Because I'll be rounding off shortly. And your mono, egbo me. If you are raised by parents that are emotionally destructive to you, what you don't deal with in your parents, you will repeat it. Hello, me see. Oti job abai pa. Bobo iwa. Addiction. Obeni. Ti ya, ti babe e she. Lo kosa po, lo she already. Why? What you are hating in your daddy now, you are repeating. And that is why I will forever solicit for counseling, for therapy before you go into marriage. The moment you are you know that you are from a dysfunctional home, listen, you will repeat it. Hook, line, and sinker. Chelo madabikwe ah, photocopy lele ini. Elelo miani abiba beg elelo sheri. Why not? Blood unko. Exposure unko. Experience unko. You will just so if you are listening to me now, you are going to be like Joseph. Joseph, no Bible. Only ah, eh, bami, me, oh, big, we say, I hear me I'm not going to repeat a pattern. I'm not going to cross, you are not crossing your hand over my children. Ah, emiti yato. I'm a transitional person. I'm changing this pattern. You have to be intentional about changing the pattern of what I've mentioned that has happened to you growing up. Please choose to change the pattern. Be intentional about it. Tell your spouse, my dear. Oh, call me, ya wo me. Ba shen she lo yi. Ba wo bi mi she she fumi ni ye wa. E jadari jira wa. Katu in yon gun. Katu obe se. Let's quickly do something about our upbringing. We cannot continue to live our lives and continue to put the button. To next generation. <laughs> you know God is generational. Only on the long wu. Tombe she baba wu. Lara omo. That's the wrong kini. Titi de ike wa. Keji la. Tiron, diron, diron, diron. You don't want to live like that. You have to tell yourself. Daddy, don't cross your hand. Don't cross the hand of abuse. Abuse. Don't cross the hand of cross curses. Don't cross, cross the hand of cursing me. I will not curse my children. I will not abuse my children. I will not be cursing them, making statements, cutting remarks, calling names, disgrading. Why my shame on my toro fail lek? Tani o fail iri daddy e fail iri lara. Ewo, let me drop this before I leave. Muti kaja koko mi, bogbo mi. Life is a choice. As a person, you are hearing me now. Choose the best way. Choose the highway. Choose a better path for yourself. Life is essentially a personal adventure. You may not be able to choose the way you are born, but you can choose the way you will live your life. I want to say very big thank you to everyone that has taken time to listen, to sit down, take notes, make notes, note it in their hearts, write thin things down. Thank you. My name is Olufunke Adetuberu. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram. My handle is Funke Adetuberu. Please go to my YouTube channel, listen to a lot of She Matters that you have missed their episodes. Like and subscribe. Encourage me to keep doing what I'm doing. On behalf of Dr. Inkaju Elayefele, I want to say a very big thank you to everyone. The number to text, to voice note, to WhatsApp is the same WhatsApp number. The number is 080 232 42389. 080-232-42389. On behalf of all the wonderful, wonderful staffs, family of Fresh FM, thank you. I'll see you next week.